Okay, woo, loop the loop. Um, so yes, I, I tried YouTube, um, uploading, downloading, uh, I'm uploading at the moment, um, and it was causing issues. Probably not any more issues than it would have right now for Twitch, and to add to that, everything on my laptop is just not working. Now I have the black screen of death. Oh, joy of joys. <sighs> it's been one of those nights, guys. One of those nights. Uh, we are in White Run now. The quest that I had started again was Dead the one to um, uh, the the Break of Dawn one, and I still don't know how to take on Macaron Malcaran. I still don't know how to take him on. He still insta kills me, and I don't know how. So, so I'm gonna go and do some Greybeard's quests. There we go. That's something proactive that I can do that should be mildly entertaining, I hope. Let's go to High Hofka. Um, <laughs> this guy really doesn't want me talking to this guy. And I, I'm still stuck in conversation. Um, I, I kind of wonder if I've had too much tea or too little tea today. Uh, it's, it's been a long, long, long day. I feel like Bert. Bert. The tortoise that will currently um, kept fishing, he's just that entirely stationary. That's what my brain feels like right now. It feels like a tortoise sleeping. Like, literally, just completely and utterly unworking. <laughs> um, occasionally, you might just need to poke me to check that I'm not dead. It's that level of brain power today. So, so sometimes I'm like super proactive and I do loads of things. Um, and that's what I'm doing at the moment. I am doing loads of things and I've caught up on YouTube so at least my internet life is more or less um, working well. Um, and then uh, uh, going from there it will be on to um, lots of other things that are going on which you know I'm trying not to talk about them because you know that's my business. Um, but at the same time, also, like, I really, like, there's a couple of things that I do want to talk about, like, I've just joined my first D&D group, and so I'm an enormous freaking nerd. Uh, did Philandral die? Please tell me Philandral didn't die, that would be super duper depressing. Um, a great way to start stream. No, he's up and away! Um, he has no weapons, which is probably the reason why he kind of got so stunned. That, that was not sensible of me. Hey! give you some weapons maybe because you, you are fighting with your fists I don't need to train with you, I need to coordinate um, see I can't say anything complain when I die but it's not like I can equip him well for battle um, and I'm, I'm really kind of terribly super excited and like super like sadly super happy excited about it um, I've been watching a lot of Critical Role and I know that it's not going to be as good as Critical Role is, because Critical Role is a bunch of professionals who've been doing it for years. Um, but like, there's so much fun to be had from actual role playing games. Um, the few campaigns and stuff that I've been part of um, have been desperately fun. Um, and they're just like, it's an exercise in imagination that you just don't get in adult life um, ever. Um, so it, it's really, it's very fun to. Fire! Ah, blame me, Dad. Nice. Um, it's really fun to be able to just. I have two massive ice spikes through my head. Um, I watch. I haven't watched Penny Arcade with Will Wilson. I do watch Will Wilson. Um, I do watch um, uh, Titan's Grave, and I love Critical Role. It is phenomenal. Um, it's actually inspired me to do art, which is like the first time in years that I've been inspired to do art. So I'm hoping that my campaign is um, as um, equally effective. Oh! Oh wow! Oh, this is an epic battle! This is Drogus vs Necromancers! Uh, I need to take a resist to fire! I, I think I do. <laughs> yes, um, I'm not worried about being good at D&D because it's a, it's a collaborative storytelling exercise. You don't necessarily need to, like, as long as you have a basic understanding of the rules, it's going to be fun, and that's the main thing, and that's what I'm after. 
um, I've got a couple of character thoughts. Um, I'm not really sure. Um, obviously, I said it's voting week, um, so I'm not sure. Um, ooh, chicken back. Um, I'm not really sure um, what uh, the web system we're going to be using. Um, so I can't really do any character creation for now. But if um, if the one of the campaigns get picked is the D&D one. Um, I've got an idea of a character for um, an elf, and I've got an idea for a character for several other types of um, uh, creature and stuff. I've got a good, I've got a couple of things working in the back of my brain space, um, and I'm kind of like I, I'm going to see what other characters are part of the campaign. Um, obviously, I, again, I need to the system before I make any other decisions, um, but I, I want to know. Um, uh, what are the characters part of the campaign and I can slot in when needed. Um, but I'm really, I'm, I'm really sadly excited for D&D. I'm really like, it, it's hard to explain how excited I am. Especially as this year, um, because I went to VidCon, I missed Alcon, which meant that um, I didn't do any short form games this year. Um, so um, hopefully I'll be able to, um, I, I, just, I just miss, I just miss RPGs. Because um, I really do like elves, um, and I thought with a bit of backstory that could work. And if um, we're doing character backstories, I don't know. As I said, I've only done one session with this group, so I don't know whether or not the dungeon master is likely to do um, character-based um, backstories, or whether or not he's just going to run a more battle-centric campaign. Um, so I'll have to kind of see on that one. Um, but yeah. Um, uh, well, I've, I've officially, I think, if, if my nerdy credentials were ever in question, I think I've officially set them in stone. <laughs> um, God, but it's, it's, it's ridiculous how excited I am to do D&D, &D. Um, even if this group, um, this group seems really, really nice, as I said, only one session um, in, um, but I'm really, I'm looking forward to see what they're like, um, and getting to know all of them, and all of their characters. Um, it took a long time for them to actually introduce themselves to me, like because they were halfway through a game when I turned up. Um, so, um, like I, I learnt their character names long before I learnt their real names. Ooh, it's a view, guys. It's a view, and someone was drinking a tankard while watching the view and was so hypnotised they starved themselves to death or drunk themselves to death and became just a skull. I thought they were murdered. But I prefer the drinking themselves into oblivion while being amazed at the gorgeous, slightly misty view. Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe I'm a weird one. It's all true. But the, how did I not activate that? That's a trap floor. How, how did I survive that? that? That is a trap floor. Was I sneaking so well that I tricked the trap into thinking that I wasn't a person? Jeez. That's amazing! I'm so surprised I'm not dead right now. What did I do? Well, I should enchant you with some resistor fire. <gasps> oh, I love when you set fire to the old slicks. I go, that's so cool. I've just got to not step in it. Given that drovers are particularly sensitive to fire, they might want to check when their oil lamps are leaking. Just saying. Enormous. Oh my gosh! I kind of I don't want to stop here because it's so pretty. <laughs> uh, I have not beaten the game yet. There is no way that I shall ever beat this game. This game goes on forever. Um, I, I spend a, a great deal of time on it um, on my sister's Xbox and never even came close to finishing. And now I've got a ring though. Waterfall, just a waterfall. It's a secret passage. It's a secret passage. Ah. Love them secret passages. Oh. <laughs> Although he's a wizard, so instead of kicking his ass, I would be like, spell cast your ass. I've tried saying that fast ten times, spell cast your ass. <laughs> Especially if you're talking about donkeys, who will be spell cast your ass. Ass. No, that was the wrong one. <laughs> Oh, my brain is not with it today. Okay, so with the puzzle that's coming up ahead, I'm going to call it a night. So thank you for watching. Um, my
my YouTube videos are back on schedule, so hopefully, um, if I have time to edit, this video will be up online tomorrow. Um, it's also dependent on the videos that are currently uploaded being uploaded on time. Um, so, fingers crossed, we'll be back on schedule um, by next week. Um, and yeah, a um, new schedule will be up again. Uh, thank you all for watching, I hope you have a lovely evening, and I will see you guys all next week.